If you're a winter weather fan, you're going to be uh, pretty happy over the next 24 hours. Right now, it's not too bad out there. 22 degrees, winds out of the southeast at 10 miles an hour, making it feel a little chillier. Otherwise, we are overcast at the moment, and we will be for a little while here. You can see temperatures throughout the day today only inching up into the mid-20s out there, and feels like temperatures not that bad right now. Those will eventually be getting miserable, as we'll take a look at coming up here shortly. But first, let's take a look at the snow that we've got going on out there. North of Waterloo right now seeing snow up through Mason City. Heard reports of patchy freezing drizzle Waterloo down to around Ottumwa or so. And we look out west, the system starting to take shape. Heavier snow from Pier down through Valentine, not quite to North Platte. But heaviest snow at this point looks like it will be trekking its way up into southern Minnesota where they've got the winter storm warnings. We are just on the edge of that Kasuth County eastward winter storm warnings and through most of the state winter weather advisories for light accumulations of snow as well as a light glazing due to that uh, light freezing drizzle mainly through central and southeastern portions of the state. So as far as the timing on this thing, right now we've got that band of snow off to the north. And we'll eventually see that fill in and see a little bit more fill in to the south here. So on your evening commute, likely central and southern portions of the state, not dealing with a lot as far as snow is concerned, but mainly east of the metro, you still got a chance at dealing with a little bit of that patchy light freezing drizzle. And especially on untreated surfaces, that could make those roads a little bit slick out there. Snow continues into the evening. You can see another band moves in Omaha up through uh, Waterloo, what, Mason City area. That's going to continue to develop and push eastward into the overnight. So don't be surprised if you wake up to a little bit more snow covered roads in the morning hours before another line makes its way in from the southwest into the central portion of the state tomorrow morning. That continues eastward and by the afternoon hours, this thing finally starting to get out of our hair, but it is going to be positively frigid as we bring in drier and much cooler air and on the backside of this system. So as far as how much snow you can expect, Northeastern areas of the state definitely going to get it to the worst here. Four to six inches northeast of Mason City. Otherwise, Sioux City down through Waterloo and southeast to Davenport around two to four inches or an inch or two into the metro here. Winds are going to be on the increase as well, so could likely see some blowing snow out of this thing once that snow flies. Uh, sustained winds upwards of mid 20s of miles per hour could see gusts over 30 as we head throughout the day on Saturday as well. So again, blowing snow also going to be an issue. And then comes the cold right now. Not looking too bad out there and this evening. Not bad either. Six degrees for a feels like temperature into the evening hours. You can see though that frigid air mass sinking its way down to the southeast and by Sunday morning we are going to be hurting for warmth here. 32 below is with a feels like temperature in the Metro Algona 42 below. We don't even really have to talk about decor. They are going to be frozen. Wind chill warnings for the northern portion of the state and wind chill advisories for the southern portion of the state. That goes Saturday 6 p.m. through noon on Sunday. So if you do have travel plans this weekend, you're going to want to take, a, take, take care and stay warm. 26 is the high on the day. We hop around town to town here. You can see central portions of the state sitting in the mid 20s to the southwest. Again, light wintry mix to the northwest. We've got snow showers, temperatures upper teens to low 20s upper teens to low 20s to the northeast as well and low to mid teens if you're in southeastern portions of the state. So plan on that mix tonight and a chance for a little bit of snow. Heaviest is going to be through northern portions of the state. As we look at your eight day forecast, we've got an absolutely frigid weekend ahead. 12 degrees below zero Sunday morning. After that, we get back into the warm stuff. We're back to near 40 by Tuesday. So